Entitled mother gets mad when I help my sister. Background! My little sister has both of her arms broken from falling off her bike and needs help doing certain things. One day, when I was walking sister home from school, she needed to use the bathroom. We stopped at a store so she could go. Soon she sticks her head out and asks me to help her since she can't get her pants down. I help her and wait for her to get done. As I was waiting, a little girl walked up to me. Why'd you follow that girl into the bathroom? She broke her arms and needed my help. Entitled kid runs off and I help sister pull up her pants. As I walk out, I'm confronted by Entitled mother. You sick pedophile! Wait, what? My daughter said you followed that girl so you could touch her! She has two broken arms and needed my help pulling up her pants. She starts ranting about how I probably molested her every day of her life. I get tired of dealing with her and we leave. Edit. I left after she finished and had to help her again. Entitled parents start screaming at children because of backpacks. This happened when I was in ninth grade. I used to go to a high school that was located in another town, around 15 kilometers away. That morning, I was with two of my friends, and at some point, the entitled parents and her child come on the bus. The bus was already full, and we could hardly move. This entitled parents had to use the bus for only one stop, so it wasn't that bad for her. Plus, she always stayed at the door and people left her enough space. To get to her stop, it takes only two minutes, so it's not so bad, right? Well, that morning she started yelling at me and my friends because we were wearing our backpacks on our back. In my country, we have many subjects at school, especially ninth grade, around 16 to 17. And teachers get really angry if you don't have your textbooks and notebooks with you. And with six subjects every day, we ended up with six textbooks and six notebooks. Her words were something like, How dare you wear your backpacks on your back? Can't you see how many people are here? Carry them in your arms, you unmannered bastards! She complained about our backpacks before, but not like this. And we weren't going to do what she said because of how heavy they were. At some point, this gentleman yells from the middle of the bus, Oh, shut up already! They are going to school to learn, and if you did it too when you had the chance, you would have a car right now. She didn't say a word after that. This short story is, is titled, Entitled Mother Abuses a Dog at a Dog Park. So, I work as a security guard at a dog park, and I have seen some entitled parents, but none like this. EM is entitled mum, NK is nice kid, NG is nice guy, and M is me. Here is how it went down. Basically, I heard some ruckus going on at the far end of the park. I didn't think too much of it. Then I hear someone scream, Help! This dog is attacking my son! So obviously I run over there to see what happened. And then I see two people arguing, it went like this. Oh my goodness, you're here! This dog attacked my son! No, he didn't. He just jumped on him and knocked him down. Nobody really got hurt. Liar! That son nearly killed my dog, and I want to put down. The dog in question was a Great Dane. No, they were just playing, and they fell over. Yeah, mummy, we were just playing. No, you weren't. The dog attacked you. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the dog park for disturbing the peace. No, that dog needs to be put down. She then proceeds to kick the dog. The dog whimpers. That's it, ma'am. You are now under arrest for disturbing the peace and animal abuse. I then call some vets to check on the dog before heading to the police station with the entitled mother. No idea what was running through her head. Update. She is now in jail. Update two. Thank you for all the John Wick memes. So, I was at the children's hospital with my son. In the waiting room, they have an old PS2 with a few games that someone kindly donated for the kids to play on. Entitled mother and child walk into the room, check in, and go to the waiting area. Child, about six or seven, goes and begins playing on the PS2. Child to entitled mother. Mommy, can I play Fortnite? Entitled mother. Of course you can! Entitled mother walks up to the desk. The nurse says, Hello, how may I help you? Entitled mother says, Can you give my son Fortnite to play on? Nurse is visibly confused. The PlayStation! Give me Fortnite for him to play on! I'm sorry, the games on the shelf are the only ones we have. Fortnite is free! 
All the kids nowadays play it. You should know this. My son is very ill. He wasn't. I believe he was getting his vaccines. He deserves to play Fortnite. Child is just happily playing Simpsons on the PS2. Doctor enters. Doctor says, What seems to be the problem? This woman, points at nurse, is refusing to give my sick son Fortnite to play on the PlayStation. Doctor knows his shit. Doctor, I'm sorry, ma'am. That is a 15-year-old PlayStation 2 that is incompatible with playing Fortnite, as Fortnite is a newer game that requires newer consoles. I don't care! My son is ill and deserves it, so give him it! No, he, he can play on the PS2, which he is happily already doing. Entitled Mother is now shaking with anger. This is disgraceful! You should have the newer consoles to let my extremely ill son play Fortnite! He can do what he wants, because you do what we want! And he wants Fortnite, so you should prevent it! At this point, I was called in, so I didn't see any more. I would have intervened, but the doctor seemed to have it under control. I'm on mobile, and I apologize for any typos. Also, a first time poster in this sub. It finally happened. I met an entitled parent. For context, my biological mom is black. I am white, because my also biological dad is white. So me and my mom were sitting at a restaurant, just talking, and then a wild Karen approaches. Cast. Me, OP. My mom, my mom. EM, Karen, racist bigot. EK, EM's kid that just wanted a sibling. So, me and my mom were in a restaurant, eating and talking. And EM and her son walk in. They sit down across from us in the restaurant. No big deal. For the next 15 or so minutes, the kid and his mom keep glancing at us. Eventually, EM gets our attention and asks my mom where she adopted me or if I was her stepdaughter. I say something along the lines of, Actually, I'm not adopted. EM looks at me, then my mom, and says, You haven't told her yet? My mom responds with, Actually, she is my biological daughter. And EM goes off. What the fuck do you mean? You are black! That's not how science works! All you, N-word, are horrid people! I just want to know where I can get my son a sibling! At this point, EM is making a scene and is attempting to get physical. My mom is 5'4 and really skinny, but she grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and she could fight. But before anything escalated further, she was kicked out of the restaurant. TLDR, EM demands that I am adopted and then attempts to fight my mom when she doesn't hear what she wanted. My parents are deaf and use sign language. I was with my family in a buffet, and I was looking around being the nine-year-old that watched people, whatever that means. As I was going around, I saw a kid maybe four years of age. This is how it went on, but I went off of lips, as you do. Mom, why are these people waving their hands? The entitled mother proceeds to walk over to our table and immediately starts to yell. Why are you teaching my kids satanic symbols? My dad, who can use an implant to hear if he puts it on. We're talking in sign like- I don't want to hear your shit! Your satanic worshipping shouldn't be allowed in a restaurant! My dad is easily irritable and gets pissed when he is being pestered. Okay, I gotta stop this for a second. Come on, who wouldn't? Please, mind your tone, miss. We're trying to enjoy our food. It's about time you leave, you filthy Satanists! <sighs> this is the point when security is called in to assess the matter. Fucking finally. The rest is bearing with the entitled mother screaming for a bit, and then getting her taken out of the building. We ended up getting refunded for the food that we had. Hey, whoever's making this video, can you edit this in post? Thanks for the support and making this my highest upvoted post. I really appreciate it.